Lushu has quickly rose up as one of the most interesting characters in the Kingdom Hearts franchise. For those following the ongoing story of Kingdom Hearts Key Saga, or at least the Kingdom Hearts 3 epilogue, you would know that Lushu has an extremely pivotal role to play in the future story. I can say though that this character has perhaps seen more of the Kingdom Hearts timeline than any other one person in the franchise, excluding the Master. And seeing is just one thing. He's lived through so many of these time periods. Key Era, Dark Dark Road era, Missing Link era, Birth by Sleep era. He's lived throughout potentially hundreds of years of his life. We're still trying to figure out exactly how long that is. But enough to the point where there's multiple different characters or versions of himself that exist. One of the most exciting parts about experiencing these stories is just seeing who is hiding as Lushu amongst a crowd of characters. Today, I wanted to have some fun and talk about the few Lushu reveals that we have seen in the Kingdom Hearts franchise and versions we've come to know him as. But as we're transitioning, into that i have to remind you to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified whenever i upload we're also less than a thousand away from 25,000 subscribers which i'll just throw out there would be a pretty good goal to reach let's start off talking about the reveal in kingdom hearts Union cross while extremely exciting very surprising it's still a bit on the confusing side of things so i don't know exactly how i feel about a post reaction to the union cross finale the result of it all is still a little bit up in the air some are still confused if this is lushu turning into Brain. This is Brain taking over Lushu's role, which will be crazy, maybe a little bit of a less likely option. But the mechanics of this part of the reveal are a little interesting, especially when you tie this on to Missing Link. It could have drastic effects on the future of the Kingdom Hearts franchise, depending on which way it goes and what exactly this is. Because we know Brain still gets sent into the future to Missing Link, but Lushu is also taking over Brain's body at this moment? This reveal definitely requires a little more context and a little bit more explaining for sure. But nonetheless, it was a very exciting moment in the series and the franchise. But that's probably why it's the first one I talk about. May my heart be my guiding key. Wait. Yo! What? Wait, this is, wait, no, hold on, am I, no, that's Brain, isn't it? Wait, he took Brain's body. Now, the next one to talk about is the one we recently just saw in Braggy's reveal. Now, I love Dark Road. The more I sit on Dark Road, the more and more it just rises up there as a Kingdom Hearts story for me. I still don't know fully whether I like it more or less than Union Cross. I think they might just be interchangeable for me in different ways. But this would probably be the coolest reveal if animated. We thought it was way too obvious with the name and everything going on. I mean, Braggy, Brag, a lot of people predicted it before Dark Road even got going but a lot of us held back a lot of us did not you know hard confirm it or anything it kind of went to the side after dark road took its very long hiatus and we i won't say forgot about it but it was kind of just like a throwaway theory like ooh, what if you know braggy's lushu because their names are similar it felt a little too obvious too on the nose and that's exactly what it was it was too on the nose so when it actually happened it did end up just being very surprising and now i know to not second guess myself on theories or anything of that type what are you talking about? He is Lushu! <laughs> he is Lushu! You think you're strong enough to beat me? As if. Sweet! <laughs> yep. Is that you, Lushu? You look different. I haven't heard that name in a long while. The epilogue reveal. Now, I put this last because this is definitely my favorite reveal because it's the first one, the first time this even became a thing, and all future arcs with the foretellers will probably all revolve and start around this moment. This is truly when the Dark Seeker saga ended, I suppose, and when the next saga started getting teased and really begun for like the mainline games. I still to this day would probably say this cutscene might be the best cutscene in Kingdom Hearts for me. It definitely has one of the best payoffs for sure. I mean, not that many people expected it. We had no idea who Luju could have been, who the Master could have been. There were slight theories about this, but most people were not 
inching on Zigbar specifically. A lot of people were expecting some sort of Xehanort twist, like the master was inside of Xehanort all along, or just something else really goofy. But Lushu being Zigbar, being Brig, is absolutely perfect because it just makes so much sense. And when you go back, it gets even better. When you look back at all the hints that there were for Brig being somebody bigger, for Zigbar being somebody bigger. I mean, when you think about it, he's the second person who was in the organization. You could say that that was just because he was with Xehanort and Birth by Sleep, but it's also because he's right next to the guy he's supposed to be watching, he's supposed to be keeping an eye on that has his Keyblade. Things like the additional cutscene in Kingdom Hearts 2.5, the talks with Ienzo when he was in the organization, just all led into this moment right here. On top of everything that was happening in KH3, he was definitely the most suspicious in KH3, but it all led to this moment in the epilogue. And man, was it one of the best parts of three, one of the best epilogues I've ever seen in the game. It, it was so good. It was so, so good. And I wonder if this moment or a moment like this can ever be recaptured. We can never get just a payoff that's as good, as surprising, as great as this. Maybe we'll get something along these lines with Yazor when we find out the true nature to Yazor, the truth about him. But this was just a once in a lifetime type of moment for Kingdom Hearts. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. We'll probably get another Lushu type reveal in Missing Link. He's probably someone close to the player character. Brain is in Missing Link, so maybe Lushu's just Brain in Missing Link, like doing a double duty thing. There's possibly way more versions of Lushu throughout the timeline, but the last important variation might just be the Missing Link variation. So that's an aspect we can definitely look forward to about that game. But outside of that, guys, uh, that'll be it for today's video. I absolutely love talking about Lushu easily one of my favorite characters in kingdom hearts at this time and i just can't wait to see this character in the future arc this is one of the reasons i'm so excited about the next saga the next arc the master lushu honestly a lot of the key stuff is super exciting those characters are so good that lore is so good and i can't wait to see it i just cannot wait to see it but if you guys enjoyed today's video or you know what to do leave a like show you with a friend or family member and last but not least if you have not already and want to become part of the union all you have to do is hit that red subscribe button down below my name is prodigy and i will talk to you guys soon peace out you guys bye now she's a daydreamer She's crying on the phone telling you she's not good enough for him when you think that she's perfect.